Hey everyone, today I've got the last Witch Hunter movie review. What if in this modern day witches lived among us? If you think that just like Harry Potter, you're wrong. As far as the story goes, centuries ago, a guy named Van Diesel decided that he wanted to go off and kill the biggest, baddest witch queen around and also take out her posse. In return, she decided to curse him and now he is immortal and she decides that later on she's going to come back and Vin has to take her out and go all fast and furious on her ass before she, uh, before the entire fate of the human race is at stake. As far as the casting goes, Vin Diesel, I remember when I first saw the trailer to this movie and I was thinking, okay, this is totally out of his element. I could never see him in a movie like this. Of course, he is still playing Riddick, so maybe he does like playing in movies like this, even though it sort of has this medieval uh, yet modern feel to it. And I think he kind of did a good job, even though I feel like there was at one point a dab at the Fast and Furious movies. Uh, and I think he does handle himself well for the most part, but I wouldn't say I completely give him credit for being in this movie. I feel like his acting wasn't that great. Uh, one of the main chicks in this movie, Rose Leslie, who I feel like she's another okay actress in this movie, though I feel like I wasn't really caring too much about her character as much because obviously I came to see this movie for Vin Diesel and I really didn't seem to think twice about the other people in this movie. Now you've got Elijah Wood who plays this, uh, I guess, priest in this movie and although I have seen him in horror movies before like Maniac, uh, he's been in some other terrifying roles, like in Sin City, and seeing him in a movie like this, I felt like, okay, well, that's not that bad. I mean, he was kind of scary as Frodo uh, at times, but in this movie, uh, maybe he's someone you ought to watch out for. But then you also have a minor role of um, Michael Caine, who I think is a really fantastic actor, and I feel like for a movie like this, maybe he's just sort of picking and choosing his roles and taking whatever he can get. Uh, but I think that, I mean, maybe it was a good thing he didn't have as big of a pivotal role in this movie, but I still think, like, at times he was still fun to watch. Now, the things that I did like about this movie, some of the visuals were pretty cool to look at. Uh, some of them were kind of uh, storybook-esque. You could see some of the art artistry of... Uh, the scenes. Also, uh, the main reason why anybody would want to see this movie besides Vin Diesel would have to be that witch because she was certainly one ugly mother but unfortunately. The things that I didn't really like about this movie, obviously I felt like there was so much spectacle with not a lot of substance and I really hate seeing movies like that because it really felt like that in a few scenes in this movie. Thankfully, I didn't feel that way about the entire movie, but maybe by a second viewing or third, I will change my mind about that. It wasn't that particularly scary, you know? You think it'd be, you know, scary because there's a witch in here and there's all these other fantastical elements to it, but I am glad that they sort of strayed away from it being like Harry Potter or even the Mortal Instruments. There was this cliche plot like where, okay, of course you have this guy who wants to play hero, save the day, get the girl, and kill the bad guy. Uh, that whole mentality, I feel like, plays a lot in movies, not just this one. With that in mind, I feel like this is not the most original movie with a witch in it. I mean, I the last movies I've seen with a witch in it were Seventh Son, uh, Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters. 
Where's Hocus Pocus 2? Of course, you have to try and savor all of those little stunt scenes, which kind of reminds me of other uh, action-y uh, movies that are kind of using this fantasy element to it, and I feel like I don't like combining the two. So overall, I would say that The Last Witch Hunter is not a fantastic movie. Uh, I personally didn't really care too much about it, so I don't think I would want to recommend seeing this movie, even though there are things that I found interesting about it. So I would give this two hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of The Last Witch Hunter. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a Child Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.